Smallville. We're on season one, episode 16. It's called Stray. Last episode was the Nicodemus flower, which basically, if you get affected with it, it will basically bring up all your feelings of what you feel, how you feel about other people, anger, rage, the whole nine yards, and of course, sexual desires, uh, definitely from like Jonathan with uh, Martha. After a while, it, the effects will basically put you in a coma. And then once you're in that coma, obviously you're at risk of dying. And it was just like, I was so worried about, um, you know, if they're not gonna find a cure yet or anything like that. Of course, uh, Pete went in there at the end of there trying to kill uh, Lex. Uh, cause he doesn't like Lex at all because of, you know, how he treated his family, at least his fa how his father treated his family. Uh, the book that Dr. Hamilton had, uh, was almost burned and that was basically the cure to help, you know, basically Lana, Jonathan. Unfortunately, the first guy that got in the accident, he died. He died of the coma, which was terrible, but obviously the funniest, but the cringiest part of the whole episode was with Lana at the pool with, uh, Clark and I was cringing so hard. Not in a bad way, but in a, it's just like, oh my god, I don't know what Clark's even thinking. Because this is pretty much, I was thinking the same thing as Clark. This is pretty much everything he wanted for, you know, Lana to say to him. Obviously, he knew that wasn't her at all. Like, basically, how she was acting. Hey, guys, I definitely cannot wait to see his next episode for Smallville. But before this video begins, guys, I want to thank Clay for sponsoring this video through the Patreon page. Make sure you just go on the page to get the full reaction on there and also support the channel as well. Then, hey, guys, let's get into this next episode for Smallville. How much will you give me for it? 50 bucks. It's made out of gold. Who told you that? My mother. Tell her it's a fake. So what's the deal? I told you, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, this is our last job. Tell me the combination. 45, 13, 29. Good boy. Wait, how do you, how do you know that? When you read the guy's mind? Okay. There's a book out of there. Are you alright? I lost my shoe. I'm taking you to the hospital. Oh, shoot. Called child services, but they're understaffed and can't come out until tomorrow at the earliest. So the only place for Ryan to stay is at the juvenile cell at the sheriff's He's station. He's already here. That's no place for a child. Why can't he come home with us? That's a great idea. Mark? It's me, Mrs. Ken. Ryan, did you do all this? I hope you don't mind. I couldn't sleep. Thanks for letting me stay here. Oh, hey, you can stay as long as you want. Maybe some of you will rub off on Clark. <laughs> what does everybody want? Let me guess. Pancakes with powdered sugar, nut syrup. How did you know that? Reading I saw minds. I when you came in. Still can't figure out why you were out on Route 90 at 10 o'clock at night. You said I don't remember. I'm not hiding anything. No one said you were, buddy. Guess your parents want me to leave now. Why would you think that? Because they don't believe me. What if you found out I did bad things? What would happen to me then? And everything's gonna work out. I know it. Just you like a, comics? He just wants a family. I like this one. Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for the boy from the paper. You know, the one who lost his memory. You are? Private detective. I work for a couple who lost their son. Is Ryan still around? You just wait. I'll get Dr. Harden. I know she'd like to speak with you. Ah, here we go. I thought you were still in Monaco. Ah, the backbone of surprise is fusing speed with secrecy. I want you to come back to Metropolis, where you will hold the position special advisor to the chairman emeritus. That would be me. I'll think about it. <laughs> you want to keep me uh, dangling so it looks like you're granting me a favor? She likes you. Yeah, we're friends. She wants to be more than just friends. I think she wants you to ask her to the prom. Yeah, right. No, really. She already picked out a dress. It's pink. You just met Chloe, and she hates dresses. And she's not exactly the prom type. Maybe she has a romantic side you never knew about. How does it feel having a little brother type figure in your life? It's pretty cool. I always dreamed of having a brother or sister. The one you can totally trust and would always be there for you? It's just how I see you, Clark. Oh, Thanks. what? A brother type. Oh, that hurt. Warrior Angel. I'm a fan myself. You must be Ryan. I'm Lex like... Luthor. Clark told me all about you. Now I have one of the Original you. first edition panels framed in your house. How'd you know that? You're rich. <laughs> That's what rich people do. I have the whole collection. Maybe I can bring Ryan by later. We can check it out. Yeah. Whatever. That was kind of rude. Lex is my friend. Oh, God. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, God. 
God, he's in the garbage. Ryan? Mr. Kent, this is a surprise. Yeah. Ryan's been doing chores with me all day, so I figured he deserved a break. How are you feeling today? Much better. Thanks, Guy. You're a lifesaver. You're welcome. Wait, I thought he would have knew when he just opened. Oh, my God. Like Ryan's found himself a new family. Starting to think you may not have amnesia. Clark, the kid adores you. Why would he lie? Because he's running from somebody. He's back. That's What? That's where I would hide something. His mom. What do you think it is? I don't know. Mom? Aunt? I still can't figure out how he knew that Casper Hauser was murdered. Well, you weren't exactly wearing a poker face. Ryan <laughs> does say weird things. He even said that you wanted me to ask you to prom and that you'd already bought a dress. It's not pink, is it? Uh, called Miss Cleo. I, you know, oh, that's probably so know. awkward for her. God, Lee's so nosy. What are you doing down here? Clark, don't be mad. How'd you know about this? Heard about it in your mom's mind. I wanted to see it for myself. Can you hear everything people think? Only what's on the surface. I can't read your mind. That's how I knew you were different. Oh. Now I know why. I know your dad's always worried that people are gonna find out. I can tell them when someone's getting close. I told you about Chloe. I can tell you about Lana. You want to know her secret? No. No. No, Ryan, I don't. Look, you can't do this. You won't understand what it's like to be different. What it's like to have to hide so people don't think you're a freak. Everywhere I go, I hear people's thoughts. I hoping I could start over with your family. They were so nice. I wanted them to adopt me like they did you. Who's chasing you? My stepfather and his new wife. They've been using me. My abilities. Because that's all he wanted was a family. That's it. Oh, here we go. You say anything, and I'll kill them. I help you? Mr. Kent, Child Services. I'm here to pick up Ryan. You're a little early, aren't you? We weren't expecting you for an hour. We can't thank you enough for taking Ryan in. It's our pleasure. He's welcome to stay longer. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. I need to put him in foster care. That's the law. God damn it. Yeah. What's wrong? Child services came and took Ryan away about 15 minutes ago. What? Why didn't he wait for me? I wanted to say goodbye. Said they're in a hurry. I'm sorry. Damn, what's in the limo? On your way to Metropolis. Yeah. I guess this means you've decided you're leaving. I haven't made up my mind one way or the other. Yeah, I hope he does stay. I really do. No flex stays. That's that same. That's the stepfather. God. Oh my god, they're gonna rob him. Driver. Hey, what's going on? Driver? Oh my god. Inside. Get in. Jeez. Your looper? Don't give me a password. I don't know what you're talking about. Just tell me what it is, rich boy. My father has it, I don't. He's lying. Got it? Burning up the limo. Give me the real password. Don't mess with me. I'm not gonna tell you. I swear to God, I'll drop him right now. Once he gets the money, he's gonna kill you. Don't listen to him. Stuck in trash and pull us apart. All we gotta do is trust each other. You know, this kid has always freaked me out. But the one thing I'll say about him is he never lied. <laughs> you know uh -oh, what? Oh, they're turning against each other. That's true. He didn't. Ryan! Hey, Call the police! Oh, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Hey, Clark, get this dude. Oh, my God. Ooh. 
You want me back? I'm driving you crazy, aren't I? You want me back where you can keep an eye on me? Yep. You're making a mistake, Lex. I'll return to Metropolis when I'm ready. At the head of an army? Yeah, I'm glad you decided to stay. I'm really gonna miss you, Ryan. It gets cold in Edge City, so I packed some of Clark's old jackets. Something for you to grow into. Thanks, Mrs. Kent. You're welcome around here anytime you want. Yeah, hopefully you can see him again. There she is. You sure you're gonna be all right? She's a nice person. She's just as nervous as I am. I want you to have some. The comic. I can't take those. I don't need them anymore. I have you. This is awesome. I'm happy, bro. If clouds between All right, guys, another great episode for Smallville. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest. At first, when I, you know, saw Ryan, he was a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, he was. It's like the way he was, you know, saying his, you know, how he's saying certain things to people, what his thoughts or what he knows, what they're thinking or whatever, was pretty weird. So, I was weirded out at first, but at the same time, I, I did feel bad for him because all he wanted was a family. That's at the end of the day, he just wanted someone just to care about him, and that's all he wanted. And his terrible stepfather his girlfriend were just you know terrible and his stepfather wanted all the money for himself so he killed his girlfriend i mean he read his mind and he, you know the girlfriend knew like ryan would have never lie so they pretty much turned against each other i'm just glad that he's gone he's out the way and i'm glad he got a better home in edge edge city or something like that um uh, with his aunt his power was pretty cool like he could basically read minds on the surface what they're thinking he can't read like completely everything in their mind i definitely cannot wait to see the next episode for smallville this is great uh we're pretty much like i think we got five more episodes to go and then we'll be done with season one but yeah guys uh please leave a comment on the video and leave a like on the video as well and make sure you guys go on the patreon page to get the full reaction on there and also support the channel as well other than that guys hope you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you guys next smallville